god is not like a human being it is not important for god to have visible evidence so that he can see if his cause has been victorious or not he sees in secret just as well moreover it is so far from being the case that you should help god to learn anew that it is rather he who will help you to learn anew so that you are weaned from the worldly point of view that insists on visible evidence if christ had felt any need to get visible evidence he certainly would have delivered a blow summoned the twelve legions of angels this is precisely what he refused to do instead he gave the apostles who wished visible evidence a reprimand that they did not know in what spirit they were speaking since they wanted to have a decision in the external sphere a decision in the external sphere is what christianity does not want except in so far as it wants to establish some sign that is an offense to worldliness such as for example the sign of a sacrament to test whether the individual will keep the secret of faith and be satisfied with it the worldly always needs decisions in the external sphere otherwise it mistrustingly does not think that there is a decision but this occasion for mistrust is a spiritual trial in which faith is tested from the worldly point of view a much more certain way of deciding it and of being altogether sure that a god exists would be to have a picture of him hung up then we would see that god exists or that an idol exists which really does not exist from the worldly point of view it would also have been a much more certain way if christ had sought to show who he was by means of perhaps splendid processions instead of taking the form of a lowly servant without ever being noticeable so that he looked just like any other human being and in a worldly way completely failed his task but this is precisely the spiritual trial in which faith is tested it is the same with the christian view of love worldly misunderstanding needs to have it outwardly that love in the christian sense is the spirit's love ah but this cannot be outwardly expressed since it is indeed inwardness the world is always diametrically opposed where christianity wants to have inwardness worldly christendom wants outwardness and where christianity wants outwardness worldly christendom wants inwardness which can be explained by the fact that wherever the essentially christian is found it is accompanied by offense that was from works of love by soren kierkegaard published in 1847 Hong translation pages 145 and 146